Hey guys, in honor of the 30 book 12 month challenge, I wanted to share a little something something with you that I think is pretty interesting. Also, I wanted to vlog today because I really like my shirt. Now it is time for the background info. Okay, I have a blue folder. It has the goods in it. Now, when I was an eighth grader, I went to a seminar that was held at my school about banned and challenged books. Now, if you don't know what those are, I have some info right here and I'm gonna read. A challenge is an attempt to remove or restrict materials based upon the objections of a person or group. A banning is the removal of those materials. Challenges do not simply involve a person expressing a point of view. Rather, they are an attempt to remove material from the curriculum or library, thereby restricting the access of others. So that is what a banned challenge book is. And I went to the seminar because I love reading and I wanted to get some info on it, you know? And what I found out was that the library has a bill of rights. And it's sort of like the Ten Commandments of um, libraries, except for it's, there's only six, so I guess it is more like a bill of rights. And basically it's always just saying that libraries need to be able to have books that people want to read, you know? They can't restrict the access of books because books are meant for us to read and that is why books are things. When I attended a seminar, I got a list of the top 100 banned and challenged books. Now, this is only from 2000 to 2009 because 2009 is the year that I attended the seminar. I bet you can guess what number one is on this list and that is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, most unfortunately. And I was pretty surprised by some of the books that they had on here. For instance, I bet many of you have read The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which recently was made into a movie. Other challenged books are To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Giver by Lois Lowry. Oh, Daisy's joining us. I don't know if you can see her. Um, British Terabithia. Come on. Really? I, I mean, I read that book when I was in fifth grade. Yeah, a girl dies. You know what? Death happens in real life. Okay, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. I can understand that one being banned. Oh, Daisy wants love. I can understand that one being banned. There's a lot of um, sexual references and straight up sex that happens in that novel. But you know what? People can handle it. It's a, it's a book. Okay. And another one that I thought was interesting was Fahrenheit 451. In that book, books are burned. So people are restricted to what they can read, which is pretty much nothing, and so I think it's funny that it's on the list of things that people don't want others to read. Most of these books have been challenged or banned because of religious undertones or sexual references or drug use or drinking, and pretty much those are the main four things that are going to make a book be challenged. There are a few reasons why I think books should not be able to be banned or challenged, and first and foremost is because when someone tries to ban or challenge a book, they are saying to um, other people, just because I don't agree with this book, I'm going to take away an experience that you could have with this book. And I think that's really dumb. It's like, why do, why do people feel so strongly about one thing that they won't let others enjoy it? Let's take To Kill a Mockingbird. I recently read that book. Now, I really enjoyed that book. Does that mean I'm going to make everybody else go out there and read it? No. But, for some reason, it's okay for people to go say, you know what, really don't like To Kill a Mockingbird. No one can read it now. Nobody. It shouldn't work that way. It's taking away other people's enjoyment. And it's just restriction upon something that is beautiful. And I'm not just talking about To Kill a Mockingbird, I'm talking about any book because books are awesome things and just because a group of people is smart enough to get together and make a petition doesn't mean that books should be banned. It's awful to think that people do that in the real world because I love books and I, I grew up in a household where I have always had pretty much been able to read what I want to read Honestly, my parents have never really restricted my access and when I went to the seminar I was shocked that there are parents and not even parents just other random people out there just saying you know what I don't agree with this material it should not be in libraries and this is especially prominent in school libraries but it also happens in public libraries which is really just sad so you know what if 
you agree with this, you can thumb up the video. That would be awesome so I can see just how many other people think that challenging books shouldn't be allowed because it shouldn't be allowed in my opinion. And if I could, I'd give you guys all one of these really cool bookmarks like I got. And it says, look, look at the back. And I don't know if my camera's mirrored or not, we're gonna find out. So yeah, if I could, I'd give all you guys one of these awesome bookmarks. So, I can't, but tell me what you think about the banning and challenging of books and if it has ever happened to you at your library. So, just wanted to make a video today. Bye!